What's up, my name is Chris. I'm here with Bespoke Motors. Today's the day we are gonna reveal our next biggest build, and it's the AMG GTS. It's a beautiful car, and we're gonna go crazy with it. We're gonna put a full wide body kit on it by prior design, and they're telling me this is the third kit ever sold in North America, so we're super excited about building a very rare, very neat car. On top of that, we're gonna lower the stance a little bit with some Y-Stick coilovers, and we're gonna get a set of Strassi wheels they just came out with this model. We're gonna be the first car that they're delivering to, to be installed. As far as performance upgrades, we're gonna have the ECU sent out. It's gonna be professionally tuned to push as much power as possible out of the factory parts. But we are going to custom fab in-house a downpipe and mid-pipe to give this car a much better sound and to also increase the horsepower as much as we possibly can. So we're gonna put this build together over the next five weeks. It's a tight time frame, but we know we can get it done. So follow us along to see what kind of surprises we have in store. And let's see how wild this car really gets. So it's a super rainy day here in Missouri, but there's some sunshine waiting at the shop. We're gonna head that way, and see what it is. All right, so here's the kit. We probably got the hood here, I'm guessing. We're about to open this thing up and really find out. We got this big box. It's gonna be full of the rest of the components. We have bumper covers, side skirts, wheel fender flares, we have diffusers, everything that's gonna make this car super wild. I'm very excited about it, so let's get this thing opened up. I'm nervous, because I never spent so much money on a single car part, even though it's a compilation of parts. So, uh, wish me luck, and let's hope I'm not you know, disappointed in any way, shape, or form. Oh, man. This hood better feed me dinner tonight. Oh my God, it's like a ball pit for dogs. Man, it's uh, it's nice looking. I'm excited to see what the vents, what the vents look like and how they're, obviously they're bigger than what's on the factory, but I'm, I think it's gonna be three different type louvers. So, probably in that box right there. Oh man. So here's a side skirt. It's gonna be for the driver's side, I believe. Oh yeah. Woo! Gentle. Gentle. Oh my God, dude. You take that side. You guys. Is that not gonna be nasty? Look at that. Where's the instructions? <laughs> Certainly looks like there's some things that need to be finished out a little bit, and then we'll get it to the paint shop, get it painted, and it goes on the car. Well, once the wheels get here, yep. gotta have wheels, gotta have tires, suspension, so everything fits right, wheel wells are correct. Or when we, we're actually cutting the fenders out of this car to make those flares fit the way they should. That's probably gonna be the uh, most scary part. Gonna make some old man very upset. <laughs> Some purist is going to be really upset. Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back. It's uh, week two, working on the AMG GTS. We made some progress. We have some things out in the shop we want to show you. We've got the body kit. We've been working on that, getting it prepped for paint, getting it smoothed out, sanded. We're going to get it to the body shop here within the next few days. All right, as you can see, the body kit looks super sweet, not even on the car. It's really pretty much ready to go to paint, just a few minor things. What we're going to do, once we have the next step done on the car, is we're gonna test fit everything, make sure it's correct, and then it's off the paint, and then be ready to go. So last night, me and Chris took off the factory down pipes, and I took the factory flange from the existing down pipe, and uh, fabricated uh, the new down pipe. 
I'm utilizing the factory uh, flanges both in the top and in the rear of the downpipe. And uh, we also added a V-band clamp just so the uh, downpipes will be able to make it a whole lot easier yeah. to get in and out of the car. So basically we're going to go ahead and put the bottom portion of the downpipe in. It's going to mount made up right to the remaining of the factory exhaust. You can see how easy this is going to go. So when you start on the downpipe, I typically start at the turbo and then come down to your half point and then start at the most rearward point with the factory you know, flange. This is more like a socket style flange. We'll start here and then work our way up to the other B-band flange there, so. built, ready to be put onto the vehicle, but our next step is to install these coilovers that we got from Vivid Racing, made by Weiss Tech. It's gonna give us full adjustability on all four corners. We need to get our wheels and tires here, get those mounted up, and the body kit put on, and it give us the perfect uh, type of fitment that we're looking for and the right stance that this car deserves. Let's do it. So we disassembled the front suspension on the AMG and we successfully got the factory strut and spring out and now it's time to change everything over to the new Wise Tech uh, system. It's been easy, it's been a breeze. Every car is different but this one's uh, actually really simple. Uh, we'll disassemble this yep. and then we'll uh, get the coil over built and we'll put it back in. Be pretty easy, it should happen pretty quick. Slap the compressor on here and zip it apart, put the new parts on, and throw her back in. Hopefully, that's how we intend to do it, but you never know. So we got the first coil over built. Uh, as you saw earlier, it came out super easy. Putting it and reassembling it gave us a little bit of trouble. Just the first one we've ever done, took about an hour. The rest of them are gonna be really, really simple and we're gonna breeze right through it. So we're gonna get this one put back in. We're gonna get all three of the other corners done over the next day or two. Get the down pipes installed, get the ECU off the tuning, get this thing on the road. Scaring grannies, dropping panties. All right, guys, so last time we checked in, we were finishing up the mock-up process on the AMG's body kit. And today, we actually uh, finished up all the body work and the sanding. And we sent all the body panels off to get uh, primed and finished sanded. And all the parts that we have delivered to Cool Touch are getting wrapped and they're in the process of doing all the fine details with the 3M Shadow Black vinyl. And today, we're actually gonna be cutting the wheel wells out of the, uh, the AMG to better fit the wheels and get the body kit 100% as far as the fit and function. So moment of truth, I thought this was gonna be a little bit easier, but it's not, it's pretty nerve wracking. We're gonna cut this thing up. It's certainly the most reckless thing I've ever done. So let's watch the artists at work. Uh, basically just taking all the fasteners out of this wheel well liner so whenever we go to cut we're making sure there's no inner structure we're getting into plumbing electrical anything like that
Salvage title. All right, so now that we have our factory wheel wells clearance for our Strassi wheels that'll be here on Monday, tomorrow's agenda is to get all of the body panels uh, wet sanded and the overfenders attached to the car, then everything's going to the paint shop. So he makes it sound super easy, super cool, but the fact is we have to have this car completely assembled, ready to go on the end of business on Monday, which today's, well, it's Wednesday night. So we have two full working days for this week. We have a ton of work ahead of us to get this thing ready, painted, wet sand, buffed, sent to the wrap shop to have the full custom wrap completely done for the Gold Rush Rally. Then we have to send it over to Clear Auto Bra, St. Louis, to have everything protected so we don't beat the whole thing up on this 4,000 mile journey. I'm sweating a little bit. We're gonna get it. I have no, no question about it. It's done, it's over with, it's a wrap, but we can't stop pushing now. So last time we made mention of we might have a surprise or we might do a spoiler, we actually decided to go ahead and go with a 71 inch APR full carbon adjustable wing. They don't make, this, make that application for this particular car, so we're gonna build the struts and the support system that it takes inside the hatch to support the downforce at the speeds we'll be putting this car to. All right, so what we did is we have our friend Brett Brooks, which is an engineer come in. He actually designed most of the pieces. We're gonna 3D print all of the items it's gonna take to make this happen. That's what he's doing now. He's setting up the 3D printer. We'll get everything mocked up over the next couple days. Then everything will be milled out of billet aluminum, put into place, and we'll be ready to go. On top of that, we came up with the idea of 3D printing a replacement emblem for the grill. So it's going to actually replace the Mercedes emblem. It's going to be a custom bespoke motors emblem that will take the place of that. It's going to look really sharp, set this color apart from everyone else.